So today we are making a classic Danish recipe which is consisting of these guys here. Asparagus which is in season and we will pair them up with some Danish uh, breaded patty as well which is a classic thing to do on a Saturday evening. But let's go over the ingredients here. So the ingredients consist of of course minced meat which is 50% pork and 50% cow meat. And then of course the uh, in-season asparagus along with some butter, thyme, one egg and potatoes. The fresher the better of course. And then one organic organic, organic lemon and then some rosemary. If you have fresh then please use that and then some breadcrumbs lastly. Yeah, but let's get to it. So to make this dish stand out a little bit more, then we are adding in some lemon butter. And to make that, then we create the uh, zest of one lemon, half a lemon if it's a large one, and then we take out the juices from that. Because you're gonna need something a bit more fresh in this heat here. It's still super hot in this country. And you add it into some room temperature butter. And just mush it together. The leftover lemon you can just use for lemonade for example. But all the uh, measurements are in the description down below if you want to follow along. For potatoes then you peel them, you cut them, you boil them. That's the way the Danish people do, at least. Just make sure they have the same size so they boil equally fast. The asparagus, then you want to cut them about 3 centimeters of the bottom, because you can't really use that. Just throw that out. Crack open an egg and stir it a little bit. Then you add in a bit of salt and pepper for the meat. And I would use about 120 grams of meat for one patty. Then you just mush it together to a bowl first. And then the trick is to form it into a patty by using your thumbs to push in the, the meat in a circular motion. And then you have a patty. Then you put it in the egg first and then flip it and over to the breadcrumbs. Try to keep one hand dry and one hand wet. I kind of messed it up this time but usually I manage to do it. And then on to the next one. And if you've been on our channel for a while, then you know that we like to use butter in Denmark, so we fry the uh, patties in butter. You can add oil instead if you want to, but it just gives it a bit more crisp and deep flavor, I think, if you add the butter. Then it's about three minutes on each side, and then you can add a bit of oil in order to keep the butter not burning. Mm. And we 
Would you look at that? Oh, makes me want to eat it again. You can check if the potatoes are done by sticking in your fork. If it releases, then it's pretty much boiled through. For the asparagus, then you just add a little bit of oil and then you put on the asparagus. So it infuses all the juices from the meat into the asparagus as well. And then you just add in the pepper, the salt, the thyme, and lastly, the fresh rosemaries. These are picked up from our garden. And then you just plate it. For the lemon butter then you can put it in a bag and then squeeze it out onto the patty so you get a nice little mountain on it. Otherwise you can use a spoon and just scoop it on on top of it. Some thyme around the edges and then the sauce from the pan. And there you have it. So we finished our dinner here, so let's just dive into it. The butter is always already melting a little bit over it. But as you can see it's fully cooked and it looks absolutely delicious. If we pair it up with a small asparagus. It's so nice. The, the lemon butter just makes the, um, the dish comes together so much better. Being it's summer and everything, it's very nice. But you can eat like the, uh, the patty all year round. But now that we have the asparagus, it's super ideal to pair it up with some summer ingredients as well. Yeah. But if you like the video, then please head up on to the uh, next one. We have more Danish recipes just up here. And I'll see you in the next one. So today we are writing the Sen quote, Usen Huma, which literally means being washed by the rain and being polished by the wind so that you are able to endure the hardship of life and becoming a better person um, in general. So I hope you can take that with you until I'll see you in the next one.